Greetings tubers, it's Drew the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Pickin'. And really an amazing find, didn't expect to find this. I've been telling you about this incredible uh, porcelain company from Germany known as Meissen. The Meisselin Porcelain Factory made the greatest porcelain in European history of all time and still to this day commands the, the top prices of any porcelain makers in Europe. Uh, they were specialists in this field. They actually developed the technique of making porcelain from the secrets of the Chinese back in the 1700s. And this is just an amazing find. This is a Meissen it appears to be in the school of Meissen, and I'll get to the bottom in a second so I can show you the marking. In the school of Meissen uh, porcelain figurine grouping. Now, the grouping is what makes it important and actually very valuable. You'll see uh, single figures and what have you, but it's when you get a grouping, that's when you really get into the bigger money. So let's go check this out. I'm, I'm on my phone today and I'm not on my tablet I'm not sure if it's it's probably not going to be as good as my tablet but look at the quality in this piece of porcelain um, there's other regions that made porcelain like this Dresden and another factory called Derby Darby and um, and there's others because when you're the best you're gonna always have people that copy you and Meissen Porcelain Factory was one of those. Um, they developed this logo of the crossed blue swords. And that actually is the first corporate, corporate logo in history, guys. Before that, it was all <clears throat> royal crests and her heraldic uh, crests, this type of thing. But these guys, since they were so good, started to become uh, knocked off and reproduced. So they started putting um, blue cross swords on the bottom of their figurines and on the backs. And I'll get to that in a second. But um, pretty amazing find. I mean, I didn't really expect that. But let's go to, um, let's show you some more detail now. What's amazing about this piece, it has very little damage in terms of the larger items here. There are some small little condition issues on the leaves to the apple tree and a little tiny little break on the end of this ribbon. But the main part of the ribbon is absolutely perfect. It's not broken, not repaired. And like I said, there's no big breaks, no head or leg or arm repairs. And that's pretty good. Look at this little basket full of flowers down here. It's kind of we're getting kind of glare today, but there's a couple little chips on that. But that can all be expected for something that's, you know, somewhat quite old. Now, as far as the age goes on this one, I'm thinking this is late 19th century or early 20th century, just due to the um, the quality of the painting, etc. And the older they are, the more valuable they are, I believe. And let's go to, let's speaking of value, let's go over here. This is a Meissen price guide. And let's see, it's, uh, sorry, antique prices for uh, valuable guides. And this is the Meissen guide right here. And when we go to the Meissen guide, let's go to this. Look what I came across. A man a group. There's the there's the uh, the designation of group because the groupings are always more expensive than the singular figures. Group. Oh, sorry. Man, woman seated below apple tree. Girl standing behind. And look at the pr that's ten and a half. Ten and a half by six. And then there's the auction uh, value. The, the sold price, $1,785 they got for this. Now, to me, it looks exactly, the description is exactly correct. It is 10 and a half inches tall by six. And that is just so amazing to find from my research, guys. How great is that? I was real happy to see that. Now, I'm going to take you to the base of this. It's going to be hard to do without hurting it. 
Hold on a second. Kind of got to do that real carefully. And there's the double swords down there, guys. Let's see if I can get a, a view of it. Now, it's kind of a little hazy, so you're not going to really see it. But there's cross swords, and they have handles on them. And then there's a little period or italics mark in between the pommels of the, of the sword handles. And that supposedly designates, I believe, 19th century, although... This, these marks have been forged before by other people, and, um, and who knows? But it's just a really amazing find regardless. Thought I'd bring that to you on California Pickin'. And uh, that price just is a good price to me. 1785 bucks they got for that. So anyway, from the Antique Mice and Price Guides... And uh, I, I could show you some more. Oh, let me show you this. Here's a little, this is a little diagram of mice and logos over the years. And this is the one that has the asterisks between them. And I can't even read that, but like I said, this could be a, uh, not a real piece but could be from somebody else but we just don't know I'm gonna have this looked at I've had another figurine that indeed was Mycin and was very valuable so um, pretty nice to uh, to run into this sort of stuff let's see what else we got here see if I can show you anything else let me just show you some more detail while I look for the correct pictures but you can see the workmanship in that is just exquisite. Um, here is the other figurine. Sorry. Uh, well, anyways, that's me, Drew the California Picker. Please subscribe, hit like, and share on Google+, Facebook. Come on back to California Picking. Cheers now.